Wind blows the lotus leaf. Again, we start with the most simple and the most basic. We start the wind blows lotus leaf posture, left hand over the knee, right hand at the temple. Right, using our right hand, what we do is we turn to the high lotus, we deflect. Again, what we're doing is we're deflecting the punch away. And again, in this movement, this twisting high lotus, you need to be rooted because if we're not rooted, we're going to get knocked over by the opponent. So again, and it's not a hard, it's not a hard clash. What I want Dennis to do is I want him to roll around me. So I turn and roll, right, twisting away. Well, when I do that, that sets me up now to step right behind him. Now, I didn't even roll forward. I have him with one hand. His root is already broken. I shift forward. I'm just going to hold on to his hand so he doesn't fall. Right? And my right arm just pushes down over my knee, just like you do in form. Dennis goes all the way over. I take him down with using only one hand at that point. Right? So your movement is going to be take, roll, deflect, come in, step. And here, the whole arm is going to turn. My left hand never gets over my right, or my right hand never gets over my right leg. Because if I get my right hand over my right leg, like you would do in form, what's going to happen? He's going to be all the way over. Alright? So getting him to the ground is, is not the hard part. The hard part is getting the connection of your first movement to be able to deflect and step and to break his root. Right? So that he keeps, and he continues to travel. Again, notice how close I am. He's getting stuck right in between my two feet. And when he gets stuck in there, just a push, and we're done. Left hand kind of follows up into, into a temple position, and then it goes right down. Helps turn the waist when you come back. Right? Now you do it left side, right side. Right? So we're not going to do left side, right side, but in the form you do the movement three times. You easily do this. You could do it left side, right side. We're trying to show you optimal angles in the video so that you see the most. Certainly you could practice all of these exercises with a left-sided coordination and a right-sided coordination. So um, when you practice, feel free to go ahead and do that and to experiment, play around with it just a little bit.